Howdy campers. Today I'm going to give you all the specifics of how big your car can or can't be. All right. So if you're in school, you get a block of wood. All right. We traced the front view. Those at home, we're about 12 inches long. Okay. Kind of shaped like a wedge. This is the back of the car and it measures about two and three quarter inches high by 12 inches long. And on the right hand side, it's about three quarters of an inch high, okay? That's going to be the front view. I know it's not the front of the car as you would think of it, but it gives us the most detail for our car. Then I'm gonna slide this this way. This is the top view of the car. All right, it's gonna be lined up front to back, and then I'm going to trace it, okay? The width of your car is one and a half inches, though it can get as thin as one and three eighths, okay? So the minimum distance is one and three eighths inches. That's just an eighth of an inch shorter than how big it is right now. All right, so it's not much. So don't plan on taking a lot from the sides of your car, okay? And then lastly is our side view, okay? The way we did it in class, we're just tracing the back of the car. And if we look, and then most of us would traditionally think, hey, that's what the front of the car might look like, all right? There's a little line right here, so this might be the front of the car. And then there's a hole in this, okay? The hole, which you have to design around, is three quarters of an inch in diameter, okay? So I'm gonna lay out, actually, I'm gonna find the center of this. We learned how to do this last year, right? Find the center of a rectangle. And then I'm gonna count over three eighths and I know my circle is somewhere in here. So that's the hole where the CO2 cartridge would be placed, okay? Then a very important part of starting my drawing and my design process is also translating, which means moving that hole way over to here, all right? I don't know how deep yet, but that's easy to figure out, okay? And I know the hole is three quarters of an inch in diameter, all right? But to find out how deep the hole is, is really simple. Take a pencil, stick it in the hole. We find out with my thumbnail how deep it is. All right, and then I can put a mark right on my actual car, but I'll just measure it for you because if you don't have a block of wood sitting in front of you, it's about two inches deep, okay? So that's simple. So I'm just gonna measure in here two inches and then I'm gonna put a line. So this area, this little rectangle here, represents an area that I have to design around. I can't put or cut out any of that area, okay? Same with gonna go for the back up, uh, excuse me, the top view, all right? So the center of this, of one and three quarters, is half and one, two, three eighths, so it's right here, okay? And so this distance from here to here was about seven eighths, all right, to the center. And then from there, I'm gonna measure three eighths each side, one, two, three, and one, two, three. That gives me from here to here, three quarters of an inch, all right? And all I do is I'll extend those in a little bit. This doesn't have to be precise, but when I'm gonna design something, it would really be nice to be as accurate as possible. And there, I just translated this line up to here. So that should be two inches, right? Hey, look at that, it's close enough. And then I'm gonna erase this. This is in this top view, an area that I also want to stay away from as I'm designing my car. So two areas, once you get your drawing set up, that you want to consider what is the front of my car going to look like. Here is an example, a student made. 
they decided to have this shape, okay? And so an axle might go here and an axle might go here, all right? So in doing that, they obviously made it less than 12, all right? But the minimum car length is no less than eight inches, okay? So the length can't be any shorter than that, or you can use all 12 inches, okay? The axles that are in this car are located 5 sixteenths from the bottom of the car, okay? So on my illustration, I'm going to actually measure up 5 sixteenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's one little more tick, we'll pass a quarter of an inch, okay? So quarter inch plus a little tick is 5 sixteenths, and then I'm just going to draw a straight line, nice and light, so my axles can be anywhere along that line. But because the wheels are a certain diameter, right, when they're on that line, my wheel is still touched the ground, and uh, no matter where I put it, all right, should be good. The axles also can't be any further out than three-eighths of an inch. For instance, three-eighths of an inch in, one, two, three, that's my axle can't be out any further than that, okay? And I can have them anywhere in here. And if I decide at some point my car is going to be this long, that's fine, as long as it's longer than eight inches. And then my front axle can't be any closer than one, two, three, three eighths of an inch. So if this is the length of my car, my axle has to be inside the car at least three eighths of an inch. Okay? So I'll just note that. All right. Then. Once you've decided what shape is going to be the front view, then you'd have to think about what's the shape of your top view. Two requirements. You'll have to pick one. One, either the hole in the car has to be there, so a three inch hole in the car, okay? Elongated, so it's gotta be at least three inches from here to here, this one's longer. Or, you have to design a real wavy design that's going to require these relief cuts, okay? So in other words, this cut right here, this wouldn't need a relief cut, but this one right here would. See, it's got a sharp little corner in here, and the student had to use relief cuts to get the saw around inside of there. So you're going to need to design something that's very wavy or very tight corners that when it is cut, will need to use relief cuts to get them out of there or a three inch hole all the way through the car. This person decided to do it in the center of here, but it could be done here as well. What if they decided to do it here? That's okay. Or you could do both, all right? Light cars are fast cars, and the more material you can remove, the faster it will go, okay? I hope this helps you get started, and then you can go ahead and use your imagination to try to design what the front and what the top views will be like, including, and one last piece of information for you, <coughs> excuse me, is the area, we want to stay away from this hole where the CO2 motor is going to be, correct? And we have to allow at least 3 sixteenths of an inch of material to be left there. You can leave as much as you want, but you have to leave at least 3 sixteenths around it to hold that CO2 cartridge. All right, get designing, I can't wait to see them.